right here in the capital region. General Electric Vernova announcing their first onshore wind turbine being built ready to ship. News 10 ABC's Anthony Krolikowski shares how the local production of these powerhouses are electrifying the economy. General Electric's historic location is looking to a greener future as their first wind turbine is about to be shipped from right here in Schenectady. I spoke with their plant manager to find out what goes into this ginormous piece of technology. GE Vernova's onshore wind bringing change to the electric city. Part of Schenectady's one million square foot facility being renovated to fit this massive hardware with a $50 million investment. So we have a long legacy of manufacturing, building steam turbines and generators for GE. And so being able to bring in a whole new product line is really exciting. Brian Carlson is a third generation GE employee looking forward to leading his plant in a new greener direction. I'm just excited as the factory guy that they picked my factory to get to build it in, but it's definitely an enabler to you know, make us competitive and bring this work into the U.S. And if you've never seen one of these turbines, they are quite a sight, measuring out to about a football field in length. Carlson says the plan is to make 200 of them a year, hiring 200 workers for highly skilled manufacturing positions. We work closely with our union leadership to uh, you know, bring in the best folks. We do a lot of training. We can do these things safely and with the quality, get them out on time and on budget. The first turbine is being delivered in pieces to Wyoming. Vernova is hoping to have New York customers and sources of raw materials in the orders to come. We're obviously going to get away from burning coal and some of the old technologies into more and more carbon carbon capture, onshore wind turbines, offshore wind turbines, and solar in those renewable space. GE Vernova is still looking for around 100 more employees to work on these turbines. And for more information, be sure to head over to our website, news10.com. Reporting in Schenectady, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10 ABC.